on. Hello. Welcome. We're here. Episode, I think it's 18. I think yeah. we're 18. I think we're finally in a legal age. Awesome. Yes. But we're just going to open up with my guest. I've been waiting for this guest for the last two episodes, but I've been milking it, waiting, 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 just so we have content. And so I would like to introduce, he's not only my brother, but he's also, he's like my financial helper, helping me get what Mr. Wills thinks off the ground. So I, I love him for that, and he's giving me an opportunity to, yeah, put my show out there and giving me a booth at the Abilities Expo, and that's what he's here for. He's here to help me explain what we're going to do at the Abilities Expo with MJ, too. So please... Welcome, my brother Lloyd. What's going on, everybody? How's it going? How's it going? You know, happy to be on my brother's show, finally. You know, I mean, it's been a long time coming, and he's pressed on, and that's why we're going to do this for everybody. Kind of help out everybody that's in the same situation as Johnny Boy here, you know. Um, give an insight of what these expos do for um, the... Uh, physically handicapped and you know getting them to open up and kind of be out there and uh, I think this show is going to help others that don't get out as much as Jonathan you know really pick up and do the thing so I'm just happy to be a part of something that's going to be for others to kind of get out there and really want to push and see what the real world is about it's going to be awesome um can you help me explain what day this is going to be on. All right. So it looks like this year for 2023, the abilities, not disabilities, abilities expo is going to be March 10th to the 12th at the Los Angeles Convention Center. The West Hall looks like Friday from 11 to 5. Ooh, Saturday, 11 to 5. Oh, and Sunday, 11 to 4. Early break on Sunday, but we'll be there the entire time. All three days we'll be there. And what are we going to be doing there, Johnny Boy? We will be testing the products live on the stream. We'll be going to each booth, looking at the products, asking them to explain what it is and how this helps somebody like me and my producer that are physically disabled in wheelchairs. How will this help us in our everyday lives? How will it improve it? And we're going to give them an opportunity right then and there to show us. And if it works, right. whoo, they might get a lot. And if it doesn't work, we can help them fix it. So And help yes. you save some money. Exactly. We're the testers. And in the last, I believe, 25, 30 years that this has been happening, the lady that's organized this has told my brother that nobody's ever thought of this idea to come to the expo and film this. And I thought that was very intriguing to me. So we are excited because we're going to be the first ever. We're going to be the only unique table there where we don't have product, but we're there to live stream and test the products. So that's what we're going to be there for. And I can't wait. So please, uh, more information will be brought up on the social media accounts. And we do need help for this weekend for us to stay there and, you know, give back to the community. So if you could please help us. It'd be much appreciated. The information will be on the screen and on the Facebook websites. Please contact me. There's a personal email now for Mr. Wheels. It's going to be on the screen as well. Contact me if you would like to help donate to this weekend. It's going to be awesome. We would love to see you all there too. You all can show up. We Right now, we're going to take a break and we'll be back with the regular stuff that we always do. I just wanted to start the show with this so we can get it. Boom. Grab your inches. We'll be back. I love you all. Hello, we're back for the part two for the original stuff of what Mr. Wheels thinks. It's what I do. Yes. So first off, I wanted to talk about a big win for my teams this weekend that happened. Wish it was that was that team right there above my head, but no, it was my other football team, Manchester City. Manchester City came up with a big win this weekend. Um, it should have been an easy win, but they got a red card early in the first half around, I want to say around the 20th minute. Um, and they had to play with 10 players the rest of the game. Uh, the other team did come out and tie it up. They were up 1-0. They came back tied up 1-1. And then the striker, Holland, we tried to give him a day off. But we had to bring him in late. And he got the chance to kick the PK late. And he finished it. And we won 2-1. So that was awesome. That was it. And the other football team that did it for me was right. Ooh, let me back up so y'all can see it right there. 
my KU Rock Chalk Jayhawks right there. They beat Oklahoma State in KU at KU. And now they are bowl bound. They are going bowling as they said. It was nuts. The scenes there. I actually was there that weekend. Um, this past weekend in KC. I wasn't there at the game. I wish I was. But um, I was there for an expo. And you'll see later on in the show. Pictures of that. But I was seeing these images of people carrying uh, the goalposts all the way to a, a lake. And I remember that lake. I used to sit in front of that lake and just hang out and chill with my dog Molly. And just, yeah, it was awesome. Like, I can't believe it. It was astonishing. First time KU football is bowl bound since 2008. Let's do it, Jayhawk. Let's see if we can win. That'd be awesome. And now we're going to move on to... Uh, before we move on to Week 10's football picks, we're going to see uh, my record, a recap. Uh, and actually, Bonnie's been wanting to uh, select at least one, two games each week. And so, uh, Bonnie, last week's score, her record went 1-1 one and one because she beat, she picked Philly and she picked the Raiders. And we all know how that went. So, she finished 1-1 one and one last week. Me, last week, I picked all the games as I usually did, and I finished with a record of seven and six. Seven wins and six losses. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Next week, we will be bringing up uh, the results of month two. So, what everyone looks like in month two. So, if you're leaving uh, your picks before the time, and I can see the time, I will keep track, and you will be on next week's show if you leave some picks. Um, but, we are going to start off with week ten. Let's hit it, my boy. Doot. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So on Thursday night, you know what I'm just gonna do to make this easier? I'm gonna tell you all the teams, and then I'm gonna tell you after because this week I looked at it, and I think it's just what one, two, three, four teams that I feel like four away games, four away road teams that are gonna win. So let's say the only four teams that, that are gonna win on the road are Atlanta, Seattle. Dallas Cowboys and the LA Chargers and they will be taking yeah as I said before Atlanta will be taking on Carolina and Seattle will be taking on Tampa Bay in Germany so that's not really like a home game for Tampa Bay as I said before Dallas will be taking on Green Bay at Green Bay yeah you already you already know what happened last week Green Bay I told you let me know and Chargers will be playing in San Francisco but those are the only four teams that I believe that will win. The rest of the teams that I've picked, they're all home teams. So, as I said, you have the Dipper, Tennessee at Tennessee. I got Tennessee. Then you have the Cleveland Browns versus the Miami Dolphins. I got Miami. Then Jacksonville at KC. KC. Detroit Lions. Chicago Bears. We're going with the Bears. New Orleans Saints. Pittsburgh. I actually picked Pittsburgh on that one. Yes, we did. The Houston Texans versus the New York Giants. We have the New York Giants, of course. Minnesota, Buffalo. Buffalo, hot team. Even though Minnesota is 7-1, that's going to be the game of the week to me in my eyes. Minnesota at Buffalo, but Buffalo is going to get that. Then you have Indianapolis against my Rams. Ah, so frustrating. But you have to stick with the black and silver, and we're at home, so I like the chances. Um, Jeff Saturday just got hired as a new Indianapolis coach, and that's kind of been a big controversy. I want to see what the big guy does, and we'll see. Let's see how intelligent his IQ is for football. I love it. Then we're going to have the Arizona Cardinals at the LA Rams. I got the LA Rams. Then uh, you have the Monday night football. Or Sunday night is a Chargers San Fran game. And as I said, I got Chargers on that one. They're one of the four teams I have on the road. And then Monday night, closing on Monday night, you have the Washington Commanders against the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, I got the Eagles on this one. Yes, yes. On the bye week of this week, it is the New York Jets and the New England Patriots, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Baltimore Ravens. They all have a bye week this week. But all these teams right here are the teams that I believe are going to win. Shout out to the Houston Astros for winning the World Series. Man, what a game. I got to see a little bit of that too. Um, we are going to close the show out a little bit differently. Um, you guys are going to see, I don't know, you kind of see, I got kind of like a big fat lip because I had a really, really awesome time at the Whiskey Expo in Kansas City this past weekend. You're going to see some photos. Um, this next part, the outro, is is it was made by uh, my great friend Hossip Shin. Um, 
I'll let you decide who which one of that one is in the pictures. But these are is gonna be a feature of what I call my group at KU, my boys. We I called ourselves the catalog boys. Because if you looked at us, we just looked like we came out of the catalog. We had every diversity of ethnicity, race in our group. At least one. And I loved it. Um, please enjoy this. Yes, I got a fat lid and I got a really nice so we can get it on there. Oh. Oh, no, it's not too bad right there. It doesn't look too bad, but it hurts. I got a nice bruise all on my right side. Please enjoy the photos and the videos that he put together. I love y'all. Uh, you know, as I say, rock chalk, Jayhawk. Baka! Mm.